What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here outside the thrift store. We're gonna head inside, see what we can find to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. Let's go. All right, we're gonna check the video games first. See what we could find right here. All right. Not, oh, Guitar Hero 3 could be okay. What do we got? Hot Pursuit. Sega Superstars, six bucks. A little, little highly priced. Not seeing much. Black Ops, eight dollars. No, thank you. Oh, what is thirteen dollars? Come on now, it's crazy. What do we got here? Not seeing anything. Here we go, we got an Xbox One game for three bucks, Zoo Tycoon, that might be worth it. Stick it right there. Trash, 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 trash. So we just have that one game. I also found this Law & Order UK set. It's region two, but you could still sell these things on Amazon. This is $5, I'll pop the price up right here. You guys can see selling for I think over 100. Pretty awesome. Now I did see somebody with a bunch of DVDs in their cart already, but maybe they missed something. I don't ever let that discourage me. They probably, you know, picked out a few things, but I bet you I'll still find one or two things in here. And I believe we got some more if we loop around here. Oh yeah, we have options, lots of options. So, oh, the 100, I remember that show. It's a book series, okay, cool. So I'm gonna start going through this stuff. See what we can find. So I did go through a lot of these and I was right. This is actually worth it, surprisingly, so I'll take it. And then we did find two more. And what did they have in common? Well, this one has in common that it's also region two from the BBC. Some of this stuff can do really good. This sells for about 35 bucks. And then we have an anime DVD right here for two. Sells for about 30 as well, so not bad, I'll take it. All of these knickknacks and trinkets and glassware. I never know if any of this is worth any money. I don't really ever want to mess with it, so that's why I always walk right by it. I do like that cow, though. That's a cool cow. And uh, there's a Goofy and a big Uncle Sam and a dolphin. I don't know. There's a man-painted dragon. I like, look at that face. What is that? All right, we'll keep looking. All right, we got some toys here. We have a brand new Lego set. $5.99, box is a little dented, but nothing too, too terrible. Might be worth it. We'll just stick it in there for now. Let's see what else we got over here. We got a Connect 4 game. It's probably gonna be overpriced, $6. I think blue might be 50% off. It might be, I, I don't really remember. I'm gonna have to check. So I found something kind of cool. It's a shame, because it's not really worth too much. Pac-Man Christmas album. It's pretty cool, but. If it's not worth anything, it goes back on the shelf. So I'm going through all the games here and I thought I found something awesome. Brand new sealed Gravitrax. I looked at the price, $40. They must be looking up some games now. They never used to because here it is on Amazon after fees, 40 bucks. So what a shame, <laughs> what a shame. That would normally be priced around five or so. So we'll have to leave it. Here is another example of crazy pricing. We have a R2-D2 right here for $200. Interactive Droid, I looked it up. Here it is on eBay, $48, $39. Hmm, so great, so great. All right, let's see if we find any electronics. What do we got? We have an Xbox with a controller for 25, 25 is actually not that bad. Has the DVD remote adapter. Oh, look at how dirty that, it's like sawdust in there or something. But uh, 25 bucks isn't terrible if there's a cool game inside, but I doubt it. Also, uh, oh, there's a power cord, no AV cables though. And what is that? Is this modded? It might be modded, which that could be really good. Um, enable, disable, um, yeah, the wires run inside, that's interesting, we'll plug it in, see if it powers on. Looking up from here, we also have ourselves a Sony tape deck recorder for $4.99, I think, it, yeah, it's a recorder, player, everything, 
That's not bad for five bucks, actually. These can do pretty good. I see a Wii remote for eight dollars. That's kind of pushing it. What else? Here's a camera. A Canon 8 megapixel for 25. Meh. We have a Kinect sensor. That's not bad. Xbox 360 Kinect sensor for five dollars. Definitely snag that. Oh, the electronics section is paying off today. Let's see, what do we have here? Mmm, that's pretty dirty. Um, what are you guys seeing? You guys seeing anything here? I am, I'm not seeing anything else. This is interesting, I've never seen a Sony alarm clock like this before. Dream Machine, it's a newer Dream Machine. It's got like all this paint on it though. Five dollars, but I think I'll leave that. Here we go, we have a Sony 3D Blu-ray player. Sometimes the 3D ones can be worth a lot of money. Um, I, I just have too many of these units to really want to mess with. We have up here, $4.99 for a PS3 controller. It's actually not, uh, I mean, it's pretty dirty. I don't know how well you could see it on camera. This thing's kind of gunky. Is that mold coming out of there? Yeah, I'm gonna leave that. Don't even want to touch that. It's a cool laptop. It's, uh, it's only 50 bucks, Acer Chromebook. Chromebooks usually aren't worth much, but this is one of those tablet ones. It's kind of cool. The only thing is they have no returns here. I'm going to stick it in the cart and look it up, but you never know. And then we have a Wii that is powered on. Let's see if a game comes out. Man, this thing is so dirty. Why is everything so dirty here? Yeah, nothing's inside. It does work though, so that's cool. What do they want for it? $25. And it comes with a... See, now this is nice. Whenever you see these little plugs in the ends of controllers, it means it has Wii Motion Plus. Those alone sell for about $15, so this would be worth it. It has the power cord, has AV cables. Everything looks good. Click that in, there we go. 25 bucks is actually a pretty good deal, and it appears to be functioning perfectly, so I think we'll take this. Especially when you look over, and these are both $20, and they're missing the tops. They'd have no cords and no remotes for 20 or 25. I say we take this. So you guys have seen the prices here, so I always get confused whenever I see something that looks great, 4K upscaling, 3D Blu-ray player for only $5 in the box. You look it up and it's worth over $100. What is wrong? What is wrong? I don't think it's brand new, but it doesn't look open to me unless Oh yeah, it's re-taped. Oh no, that's the factory tape. So, I mean, it looks fine. Why is it $5? I'm taking the gamble. Why not? Let's do it. These are cool. It's a shame Halloween's over. Electric light-up spooksters. It looks kind of old. I don't know how old. I like it, but don't need it. Like if these were here a week ago, of giant inflatable ghost for eight bucks. A fog, I just bought a fog machine for myself, eight dollars. That actually might be worth it to flip. Let me grab that. Oh, another Sony thing right here in the box for 10, Sony picture frame, that might be worth it. Stick that in here. And this fog machine for eight dollars, it's heavy so it's in there, but it's kind of moldy on top. I hate dealing with things that are moldy. Um, ah, that's a good deal, but I'm gonna scan it and just double check. All right, so that specific one has a terrible rank, terrible everything, not worth it. But fog machines in general do sell, I assume, because I bought one, so they definitely sell, but we're not gonna mess with that. We're gonna keep looking. I used to sell these Sirius radios all the time with this. You plug it in, turn this on, and if it has um, a lifetime subscription on here, which it's very hard to find those now, this alone can sell for over 100, or used to be able to anyways. It's only $5 and it as is is circled on it, which makes me think it doesn't work, but I think it's just because there's no power cord. Yeah, so it's missing the power cord. That's kind of a shame. How are the battery compartment look? Um, it's fairly clean, so that's not bad. And uh, yeah, it could still be worth it. It's only five bucks, which is a pretty cheap price. Do I want to mess with it? Is it worth the gamble? This might be good, I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you take the $5 gamble on it? All right, so I totally forgot to look up this Sony picture frame and take a look at this. Has a very good rank, bunch of reviews. 
used selling for 115 new selling for 120 you probably get about 100 bucks for it or so that is not bad for a $10 price man I found two great things back to back right there on that shelf that's you know about $200 right here the Wii sells for about 100 ish haven't looked that laptop thing up I might not get it I think 50 bucks is probably too high especially since there's no power cord um yeah it uses a specialty power cord You'll probably get it on eBay pretty cheap though we'll look into that this sells for about 25 obviously that was over 100 not bad lots of really high price things today so that's cool still debating on this i have to look into it a little more all right one of my least favorite things about this thrift store i mean the pricing sometimes can be terrible 20 bucks for this but i pulled it out so you guys can see look at all of this tape that they put on this these are soft cover books this would rip off all this artwork there's a huge piece of tape going this way one in the middle one right here and then it looks like they put one wrapping around the outside here. Uh, there's one wrapping around the back. That is so much tape for this thing. It's terrible, it's terrible. I wouldn't ever wanna mess with trying to get that off. It's going back up. All right, so it's such a shame because I can't tell the specs of this because I can't get it to turn on because there's no battery life left on it. Um, it says it's the R11 model but that's, that's all I'm really able to go off of. And you can see right here, it sells very well, but you know, 166 bucks, you'll make some pretty decent money, you know, about $100 since it only costs 50, but it could have terrible specs. And here's one that's uh, restricted for some reason, but it's only selling for $97. Oh, because this is used? I mean, I don't know. I don't know, I really don't know. But there are prices all over the place, 195, 385. It is all over 150, 250. And there's no way for me to know, which is such a shame. So I'm gonna leave it behind. I'm not gonna take a $50 gamble on it. It is cool and it would be nice to have a laptop that folds into a tablet. And maybe I get it for myself, because no matter what, it's worth it. Uh, if it works, <laughs> it might not even work. Oh, it's a shame that they do not let me uh, do not let me do returns here. I think I'm gonna leave it. You would think out of all of these toys, there would at least be one thing that's profitable. And I can tell you guys, there is not. I am looking. I am very, very much looking. And I have yet to find something. Everything that is slightly valuable is priced up way too much. So, I, I guess I'm leaving without a toy, but again, you know, we did good. Everything in here is good. I, you guys can tell I put back a few things that either weren't worth it. That one anime DVD, DVD was missing. It wasn't in the case. All that's good. And then that Wii is very good for $25. I'll sell that Wii Motion Plus separately. This is brand new, so that's sweet. Some good stuff in here. Ooh, look at all these, all these animal toys in here. I bet you there's a lot. Oh my gosh, $45 though. There's probably, oh wow, it's really heavy. There's got to be money to be made in here with all these animal action figures. But uh, that's not something I ever want to mess with. There's two of them. I used to buy big things like this of Beanie Babies. They used to sell them for 5 or $10. And I would make so much money on them. So sometimes bulk buys are the way to go. Wow. This is so loud. Alright. Um, yeah. $30 for all those tennis balls. I don't know if that's good. That sounds expensive. I think last time I was here was, what, two weeks ago? And uh, these tins were still here. I think these are the same tins. Uh, these ones are $4 each. They might be different, but nobody's buying these, so I don't know why they're pricing them like that.